Right, I realised that that bit of recording I did with the camera on the right of me, you couldn't really see what I was doing with my hands. So I switched the camera around to the left of the painting, which I always think is better if you're right-handed. Usually at my demos people ask me am I right or left-handed. And when I say right, they all clamber around to the right for some reason, but I always think it's better to go to the left because you can actually see rather than have a hand hiding whatever you're painting. <coughs> anyway, those are my thoughts. What do I know? Still just really feeling my way in here. Still don't know how this background is going to pan out yet. Using the buzzword of the now, it's organic. We'll see what happens. <coughs> Using the heel of the hand to push the pigment into the paper. I like to save the the nose till last as it were. Are you just an old shirt here to wipe the pastel? I find it's as good and quick as anything. I know some people say put them in a bag of rice and flour and all sorts. I've tried all that right? for me it doesn't work. I've got a nice mucky finger there. I prefer just to have a rag, a bit like an oil painting rag, and just give the pastel a wipe every so often. They do get very grubby, they end up looking all looking mud colour. Punch in that highlight on the horn. Some nice nice interplay here where the horns cross over in space <coughs> and we've got a lot of highlights here it's probably a little too white that colour let me get a I said earlier that the lights were somewhat bleached out. It was a very sunny day when I took this photograph and the camera has a job coping when there's strong contrast. The, the lights seem to be bleached out and the darks tend to get very saturated, very black. So I often can't trust the colours of a photograph. And very often you can tell a painting being done from a photograph because the darks are very dark and the lights are very light bleached out and that's just copying the photograph rather than direct observation where you can see so much more colour in a shadow that <coughs> often a photograph doesn't show. Nice strong lights here. This guy needs a haircut. I might call it haircut needed. It was difficult to think of new titles for work. 
It's nice to get something that's a, a bit quirky. I always think it's a little more interesting. Now you can see this; these orange colours are singing against the blue of the background. Whether I'm going to keep it that again, I'm not sure yet. These lights appear very white in the photo, so I'm ignoring that. Some quite pinky tones in the coat. That's pure orange, so this needs just a bit of knocking back. If only I could find the right colour. Um, let's try that. Grey, perhaps. I do find, although I love the direct form of painting with pastel, but I do find it frustrating because with oils you just only need the three colours that I use and you can make any colour you want very quickly. I do it instinctively now having been painting for a long time and just with a red, a yellow and a blue you can make all the colours you need and every subtle colour in between those ones almost instantly instinctively we yeah, have been painting a long time it's working into the, the darks there say in my demos keep stepping back that's why I like to stand up while I'm painting because it's very easy to get very comfortable sitting down and you get too lazy and you don't stand back and see what you've done. So I like to stand and then I can instantly just stand back a couple of paces and you get a different look of how the painting is progressing. See errors of drawing and colour placement etc. I'm hoping this other package comes today because I need this lovely rich burnt sienna hot brown not a colour I use very much at all especially with oil painting but useful when you're painting highland cattle they have this Beautiful warm brown colour to them. Not a colour I have much. 